Hello everyone. In this video, we will cover the heat map custom visual for Power BI. I came across this visual. Uh, so this is the heat map visual. And I was playing with it. I found it quite useful um, and very vi visually appealing. So I'm going to, I just grabbed the list of countries by GDP. And I was playing with another data set, which is um, the annual survey of state government tax collections for US. And uh, I just tried to build something. So I'll just take you through that. So this is the first one, which just gives me the list of countries by GDP. And the other one is for US, the tax collection by states. And we'll just learn how to create both of these. So let's just create a separate page. I've already imported this heat map visual. I'll click on that. And we'll use the country and GDP one first. So we'll just select both of them. And as you can see on the top left, it is geocoding the data for the country names. And once it's done the coding, you can see the countries and then you can also see so you can see here by country the GDP we could go back here and change the renderer so you can change it from contour to a heat map and it shows us that US perhaps because it has got the highest GDP and then you can see Japan sorry China and then there are these other countries we can see Europe so this is one one visual uh, representation and we can change the color for the different levels like we could say that the center so you can see this color and we can change it to let's say pink, but it's not really that great. You just go back and switch it to red. Or if you're not happy with it, we can just go back and change the depiction to again, uh, contour. So that is one. And we'll create another heat map. Let's just drag this. And I've got the country, uh, so I've got the state and then I've got the value of taxes. I'll select both of them. And as you can see, it is showing us and if I double click on it, it shows me by state or I could just And then we could change it and again we can change the renderer to the heat map format depending on what we are looking for and you can see this is you can see california contributes significantly and on the east coast you have new york and there are these other states, but not contributing as much in terms of tax revenue. So this is just an alternate representation. The ArcGIS maps are pretty good, but you can also use the heat map uh, for uh, geographical uh, depiction of the data. I hope you find this video useful. And thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thanks.